Here so, we go. So danger. Yep, danger, danger. Prepare danger yourself. Wolf. Have food. Have pixels you feel you'll need. Don't do this too early. You want to have at least carry. Yes. At least. So if you yeah. don't have carry, don't go deep. Yes. You can manage to just boomer, but and here they give you another reminder. Once it once you enter it, it's not easy to leave. Yes. Which you'll see as we go. Mm hmm Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Unlike Thousand Year Door, where it's just a battle stage, because it's a turn-based RPG, this one, you well, have a time limit! You have a time limit, and you have to kill an enemy that has a key. Yeah, a specific enemy that would have a key. It's random. Yep. Although okay, I do, just... I do like the fact that that one dropped the fire burst. That was good. Okay, I kind of thought they didn't drop items, so I guess they did. Why wouldn't they? I'm an idiot. So you only need to kill the enemy that has the key, which you won't know till you hunt him down. Yep. Get to the door, you go to the next level. So that was trial and one. The, yeah, and the timer always uh, resets uh, after going through. Yep, you have five minutes for every room, and the timer keeps going until you leave. Yes. Oh, there are war pipes that take you from one side of the room to the other. Which, some of which, you will need. Yes, because some enemies can be isolated. Yeah. Now you would, now you would think, uh, for early on, you would still need it right away. But luckily, uh, this one you can just look around. Yeah. Uh, but some of them, like, obviously you can't uh, do that right away. But then again, that's what you have Mario for for some of these rooms. Yes. Yes. You you will actually need Mario's 3D ability for some of the rooms, too. Cause well, need... some of them you don't need them, but it's just, like, it's quicker if you do it that way. There are some enemies that are hidden. Oh, lovely. Including a, uh, I'm special someone. Hmm. A super powerful someone. Yeah. Ah. Uh, See, like, uh, yeah, like you can just. Go, I mean, everything's too deep. Yeah, but it's, yeah, like everything in the pit of hundred trials is too deep, so you can you don't necessarily need to take the pipe for most cases, but um, I would pr to save yourself some time in some situations, like you're better off doing so. Yes. 3D is also a good escape method to get you to the floor if you're feeling trapped. Yeah. But don't do it if the door that you need to go through is not on the ground floor. Yeah. I'll say this while you will think probably killing everybody is good for you. If you're close to dying and don't have a lot of stuff to heal you, don't go out of your way to kill everybody. Yeah. So, you know, play it safe, but, you know, do what you can. Yeah. Just make sure you're quick and effective. Woo! May as well use that. Might as well! Which, yeah, whenever I'm down in the Pinnacle 100 Trials, I get these, I just use them instantly, because... Maybe that's why you didn't take that many items with you. Because some of these will still drop items. Yeah. That, well, no, I just usually don't use items unless I get them. Like, those ones in particular. Uh, okay, but I'm just gonna go after more because I'm a sadist. Just be careful not to use over... Over carry? Just be careful not to overuse carry, because remember, he does give you extra height, so in tight space with big enemies... Look out for that. And then again, you have Bowser. Yeah. Hey, Gloomba! By the way, there are some exclusive enemies in the Pit of 100 Trials. Oh, yeah. These assholes. Ah, uh, just like there are the sewers you have to pick more of, they are also in the Pit of 100 Trials in Thousand Year Door as well. And now they return in this Pit of 100 Trials. Yay. So, yeah. By the way, don't even bother with the catch cards and some of the exclusive enemies. Don't bother. That, yep, that's what I was talking about. These are the enemies that will be hard to come by for your collection. Yeah. And, well, uh, yeah, I'd say you'll be surprised how many there are. But, let's keep it moving for now. And see, tight corridors can make things like fighting floating enemies difficult. Use Bowser or Throw. Would be my recommendation for the chair bills. Hey! You didn't kill me at first! Huh! I wanted the key. Yay! But yeah, these. It's definitely ideal to use Mario in these because he has the easiest mobility throughout all this. Yeah, and he's also the shortest. So yeah. It's like, uh... Luigi's tall, but his high jump can kind of get in the way. Yeah. And Peach, well. She can be a little. Sometimes the floatiness isn't exactly helpful. Yeah. Although her parasol isn't a bad option. Yeah. She'd be a good second, and then Bowser for this offense. But this is the one place you don't want to really use Luigi. Unless you have a 
high flying enemy. Yes. By the way, Cody, have you ever beaten this bit of 100 trials or no? Uh, this one? Yes. Okay. The second one? Hell no! Yeah, I can believe that. Because as soon as I figured out there was a second one, I'm like, yeah, fuck no. I've already went through it once, I'm not doing it again. Woo! Hot Whoa, sauce! Hot, yes! We'll have to make sure. Oh, yeah, we can use it too if we wanted to. Well, I want to save that one, actually. Yeah, just be careful. We get over full of items, we might have to get rid of stuff. We do have a Firebird so we can just use. Yeah. Let's use that now, fuck it. Just to save up room. Yep. Don't have to worry about it later. Okay, and in case care. of this asshole, it also drops it. Stick! You drop the key. Oh, yeah. Well, if they drop the key, they probably won't drop another way. Okay, well, you never know sometimes. Yeah. One thing I got he was the last enemy in the room, so. I yes. Guess, uh, by process of elimination. Yeah. Yeah. Room 8. And, and you see, we're only fighting a lot of enemies from uh, the first stage, so. Or the first chapter. Yes. Right now, so. Yeah, because anything crazy. Because technically, uh, you can fight some of these as early as well before you even start the first chapter. You can't get this deep. You can't get in the pit of behind the trials. No, no, no. I meant like the enemies we're seeing right now. Oh. On the okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room. You're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, even before oh, yeah. you uh, go into the, uh, go put the heart in the first portal, you can go down pipes. Yeah. Like you can go down the. Uh, actually. Oh yeah. If you notice, there's kind of like a picture in the background. Of these floors, you kind of see like the flip side, flop side thing. Mm -hmm. I think it is indicating, like, yeah, this is stuff you could fight early, stuff you could fight up to, like, flip side, flop side stuff. Oh, cool! Free food! Yay, free health! And of course, take advantage of all that as well. Definitely take advantage of all the items you find. Could you stop crapping on the wall? Ooh, nice! Hey, another! <laughs> Pro eating! Uh, Pro stress! Now it's your turn, you gloomy fuck! Another gloomy bastard! Kill him! Is there anyone else that wants to die? Mass murder for everyone! As of course, as the first set of floors, these are easy. But don't worry, it gets pretty hard as you go down. It picks up steadily. And by the way, every 10th floor, you have a pipe to get out if yes. you feel like you can't handle it anymore. Yes, but there's also a giant chest. Yep, and you get a giant, you get a chest as well, which have cards. Oh, well, yeah. These Tippy! Ones, you get, yep, a pixel card for Tippy. Why do you have a, go on a pixel card for her? I have no fucking idea because it's not like it's useful for her. Yeah. And especially down here. Oh boy. Yeah, now we're getting to the chapter one enemies. Hey, careful, the Koopas you do actually want to physically kill. So, use Bowser or Boomer to get rid of them. Yep. You can also, of course, do the jump grinding on them, but, well, I'd say that's better used for the Koopas that give a lot of experience for every time you Yeah, but then them. again, you know, you kind of want to yeah. do that when you only have five minutes. Well, then again, I've never had trouble, because I, like, I just beat the shit out of them anyway. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, it's better to be quick, for sure. Yeah, for especially for later rooms, where you're kind of going to need almost every second of that five minutes. Yeah. We've only been in the pit of 100 trials for, like, roughly nine minutes. You're already 10 floors down. Not bad. I do say the pit of 100 trials, you should have at least two hours set aside to plan to do the whole thing. Yeah. No matter how strong you are. Yeah. Which, good thing, we decided to do this uh, today instead of uh, the last session. Yes. I mean, yeah, I figured it was a good Good idea to save it for another session. Exactly. Burn! Blast burn! Oh, my attack power dropped. Oh, fuck it. Did you just get another item? Oh, no, I guess it just got... Yeah, I, got, I just got the key. Uh, I thought you got another dry shirt for some reason. Dumb. Yeah, but those were only from the ones that, uh, upstairs. Yeah, you didn't get anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah my bad. Oh boy, regular collects. Mm -hmm. Cool, stumpy time. Oh, Bob Cleft! Yeah. Even better. Yay! Oh, these assholes! Okay, so we do have some Chapter 2 enemies as well. Yeah, 
yet, because you definitely need Boomer for these assholes. Yes. That's probably why they don't allow you to go down to here until you at least beat Chapter 2. Probably. So remember, you get access to the first floor flip side after Chapter 1. You don't get access to the basement ones until Chapter... after being Chapter 2. Wait a minute. Or would it be after Chapter 3? Ah, shit. I don't remember. Oh, yeah! You have some of the flipping dimension ones, too, so... Yeah. If you want to make an open battlefield for a 3D battle, feel free. Yep. Now run! Oh, God! Oh, God! Haha! -ha! Thanks for killing my targets! Oh yeah, there is a special gimmick for, uh, well... Have you... Do you wonder what would happen if you lost the key? Somehow? Don't worry, there's a there's a fix for that. They have a fix in case you somehow lose the key, like... Somehow make the enemy disappear or something. Or just make their item drop not happen. But... We'll come across that when it pops up. It'll probably happen at least once. I would think. Okay. Just... I've been in this place a lot. I like to make sure that it's simple. Oh, fuck you. Why do you hit the turn anyways? I'm in pain. Oh yeah, don't forget, your level-ups are full heals, so fuse those to your advantage as well. Which is also why it's not such an awful idea to go down a low level. If you can grind on experience, all the power to you. Mm -hmm. Then you can just somehow grind your way down, which isn't a terrible idea. Oh, you don't lose time going through pipes either. Yeah. Ah. Oh, wow. Chapter 3 now. Well, it's mostly just enemies based on their own strength, so... Yeah. You won't find anything too... Yeah, like, these are the areas I was talking about where they, uh, recommend you take the pipe to even go anywhere else, but, it's like, I usually like doing Mario... Exactly. Like, ...in the 3D, just so, like, save the Ow! Time. Screw you! Ow! I'm getting pissed! Alright, come on, buddy. Come on. Okay. Ow! <laughs> to be fair, I kind of didn't see him on screen. Yeah, it was a little difficult to see him. Yes, walk to your death! Ooh, totally leave! Yes! Ooh! Definitely don't want that, so... Reducing damage by half, we need it. Well, well I meant for the, the, recipe. Yeah. the recipe thing. That's what I meant. We can use those on emergency if we have to and just buy them otherwise. But, yep, hopefully you can save them. Well, the turtle leaf, I don't think I can buy it so easily, but, uh, uh, Hotshot can, but that would require me to go back to chapter, chapter 7. Which we'll be doing eventually. Yeah, but it's like I don't want to do that right now. Okay, nothing here. So I definitely, I definitely want to at least keep those two if I can. Yeah. Because I definitely need them for all the rest of the time as these come back. Yeah. You do need, still need the turley leaf for a couple things and the hot sauce, so yeah, that, those are ingredients that Well, the hot sauce I can at least go back and buy, but that, again, that requires me to go back to chapter 7. Yeah. Like, I can look up the turley leaf and see where you can buy it. I highly doubt I can buy it anywhere, but be my guest. Well, I'm sure you can. I mean, there has to be a place. I like, highly doubt it. Turley leaf, let's see. Flynn sells them at random. So there you go. As in, what I meant by getting them easily, as in like... No 80-bit store where you can just get them on. Exactly, that's it. what I meant. Okay. Like, either that or just a regular shop. Okay. I only need the Koopa Lee for four ingredients total, so it's not terrible. Yeah. But, but I again, one of them you need to make twice. Exactly. So, fuck. 
Damn it. Okay, so cool. yeah, it's like I'd rather have the free one than... Uh, that is true. Then have to hopefully get one from uh, Flim or just kill Koopas. Exactly. Ooh, Ooh hi there! Koopa Troll! Remember that? That's a these assholes? That's a Koopa that if you stomp on, get you 800 points for every time you stomp on him. That is one I would recommend for point grinding if you need it. Uh, but remember those assholes? And remember, the key can be any enemy at random, so the Koopa Troll can be it. So you don't want to fight a lot and just get through quickly? Hope you're lucky. Exactly. And we're at 420. <laughs> Room 20. Oh, that ruins my joke. And I got one for Thoro. So yay! 